moment of thanksgiving and we all have a thing or two to be thankful for especially our viewers advertisers partners families and friends that's why this special thanksgiving we at afro central tv wish you a happy thanksgiving Hey, welcome back once, once again, again to, to our 2021 Thanksgiving special at Afrocentric Television. Again, again I'm Kola Akinwewa, and, and my host here is... Why well, I know I said, I said that, but I lied. You lied? Yeah, I won't. My and I used to talk. Ah, she said, said proudly. <laughs> we can imagine. I'm excited to today's Thanksgiving. And, you know, with us today, we have um this beautiful brain, eh? Uh, I, don't I don't know what sh and how, how she, she does this. She, she combines being a filmmaker, filmmaker to being an author, and, and also she's, she's an educator. And, and she, she goes, goes by, by the name Suzanne Ngazi. <laughs> Ngazi. Thank you. I like, I like that, that Ngazi part. Ngazi. Yes. Ngazi. You know what that means, right? I like, I like I know Ngazi. Ngazi. You know what Ngazi like means? Ngazi. <laughs> what does it mean? What does Ngazi mean? I just love it. I don't know what it means. Ngazi means blessing. See? Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. We are all blessed. We are all blessed. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for having me. And happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Likewise, happy Thanksgiving to you both. Thank you. How do you balance, balance this life, life having been a, a filmmaker, filmmaker uh, an, an author, author and I don't, I don't know, know where you get the time, time to write, write. <laughs> and being an, an educator. educator. Well, first of all, I would say it's by God's grace. I hope, you know, that's, first of all, that's where I get my strength. Mm. Second of all, it's just about setting goals and priority. You have to, when you have a lot of things on your plate, first of all, if those things are your passion, mm. you will take time from that 24 hours that all of us are given and put them towards your passion. So mm. filmmaking is my passion. Like I can eat it, I can breathe it, I can, I mean, it's like the thing that I relish. That's, that's, that's like, like a natural. natural. And, then, you natural. and then writing is my outlet. Mm. So when the, th when, dance. when the thunders of life come rolling mm. in, I pull up my Mac Pro book and hear that writing. And of course, educating is my contribution. I love children, I love empowering, I love motivating, I love inspiring, and I love equipping the future generations to go out there and do what they should do. As the future generation, so I feel inspired already. My last one was giving back. Giving back. Yes. Wow. And inspiring and just being able to take whatever it is that I have learned and giving it to the next group of people so they can also grow. Tell, Tell us some of the projects you've um, worked on. Well, one of my very first projects that I shot, that I, pro well, that I, I would say wrote, produced and starred in was uh, a movie called Mind of the Enemy. And it was shot entirely in Abuja, Nigeria. So I traveled from here. Mind back. of the enemy. Mind of the enemy is a political action drama that included some of the elites. Yeah, well, stars. Ask, uh, what, what, what kind of new, new movies do you produce? But like you said, it's a whole lot. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of dab into different. I won't say I dab in in that sense, but. I'm influenced by a lot. I'm Nigerian, but a lot of my influence comes from here. So I draw from both of my experiences. When I write films that has to do with Nigeria, I tend to focus more on the social and political issues because those are things that speak to who we are. And that's how I give to that society by trying to create stories that we can not only be entertained by, but also learn from. And hopefully we can take some of those lessons and apply them to our real lives. Give, Give us some, some of these uh, titles, titles some some of this, because I want, I want to personally go look, look for them, them mm -hmm. and where we can find them. them. I want to personally watch them. Okay. So Mind of the Enemy, I can send it, I can get you uh, access to watch it. Uh, we have 12 Noon, and then 12 Noon is another social story that dealt with the medical crisis that we have mm. uh, back in Nigeria. And that film spoke to a lot of people but one thing i want us to understand is that some of my films doesn't just talk to nigeria it talks to a lot of third world countries 
because we all have similar issues and challenges, political, medical, education, all those things that plagues us, plague a lot of other third world countries, quote unquote. You know, so 12 noon, and then there's one that I produced here, I did the pilot here. It played on Amazon Prime for some for about three years. It's called Single Wife's Club. It's a TV series. Oh, I think I've seen that. Yes. I never watched it, but I think I've seen You saw the trailers yeah, and stuff, yeah. yeah. Sing, have. Yes. Now that I I know. A Single Wife's Club, yes. Yeah, so it's a series, so we did the pilot. I'm working on the rest of the episodes of it. A Single Wife's Club is a story that <laughs> At, at the time, I, you know, in addition to all the stuff that you said that I do, I'm also a, a family woman. I have family. I have, you know, husband, and you know, so, I have, so that's in addition. So it's a story that deals with some of the things that a group of women who are married, but they find themselves in a situation where they are literally single. seem like they're living single. Mm. And that's something that a lot of us, when I wrote this uh, mm. story, a lot people. of people, when I was doing the audition, because again, one of the things I do when I write stories, especially if it's to be produced here, is I integrate a lot of diversity. Mm. Mm. I diversity it. meaning all kinds of, all different race of people, because our society is not just made up of only us. Yes. Even us as in Africans in diaspora, mm. where we fellowship, where we go to work, where we go to do shop, we meet a lot, meet a lot of different people. <laughs> exactly. Very, very, very much so. Absolutely. So when I was doing the casting for Single Wives Club or SWC, I had a lot of white parent mothers that brought their kids for the audition. They're like, oh my God. He's always good. He's you know? always good. Wow. So you have a lot of people that relate to that wow. story, you know, and and yeah, it was from my own personal experience because my husband was in Nigeria <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. at that time. So it's the dramas that unfold, the challenges, and all how there's the temptations <laughs> and how wow. they all go through that. You know, some will fall and some will you know resist. And all that. So it's a very dramatic show. So I'm hoping to get back into it and get it done and hopefully get it picked up by a major platform. So you will be sending me personally links to how I'm going to get this movie. Yeah, sure. I, I need to be able to see them. I love. I, I, Lately, I just, I just once, once I turn on either Prime or Netflix, Netflix mm -hmm. it's just what, what I want to do. do. Yeah, I, I, just I just want to see something produced by an African. That's awesome. You know, so That's I, I don't know why I just support. support no, no, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so there's, there's, there's this project, project you're working on, on Oma and the Prince. Yes, sir. Let's, Let's talk about, about it. Okay. I see the book, very colorful. Thank you. Oma and the Prince. Tell us the story and how you came about the. The characters. Yes, Oma and the absolutely. Prince. Yes, Oma and the Prince, as the name suggests, is an African fairy tale. Fairy tale in a sense like it's like things like Cinderella, uh, Beauty and the Beast, mm. but with a nice African yes, sure. twist in it. The story is about a young girl, a poor girl named Oma, who was born with she had a skin disease that sort of left her looking mm. sort of gruesome and so she was ridiculed not only is she poor she had to go through people looking at her and look at her skin and like boils and things that just looked very unbecoming mm -hmm. but others saw her with her limitation she didn't see herself that mm. way she dreamt and she held on to her dreams and eventually you That's know what powerful. happened it's a very powerful so this story actually speaks to diversity, it speaks to the social issues that we're dealing with nowadays. Self-esteem, self holding on to your uh, dreams, dreams, inner beauty. Yes, inner beauty. Yes, because her mother even told her one time, the dream were literal dreams where she would go to sleep, she would dream, and then she would see herself with the prince, and she would wake up and share with her mom, and her mom will at first light up and then she'll realize that wait a minute it's just a dream plus look at us we're poor look at you this this and that how dare you know how can you even find some such a dream and so it's a story that tells you no matter what you're going through believe in yourself dig deeper 
and talks about not bullying and all that. So it's a very beautiful story. I've had a lot, a lot of children that have read it. I love it. And I mean, school this district. Is it okay for adults also? I mean, yes. Because this is going to help boost morale. It's a for boost, everybody. Um, you know, self-esteem. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, absolutely. Absolutely. And it also um, shows the way you're dreaming on uh, whatever, whatever you, you want to become. become. Don't judge yourself about today. today. With, with today, today whatever is happening, happening to you today, today. Don't don't limit yourself like that. You nailed it. That is one of the theme, the 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 message in the stories that don't limit yourself to today. No one knows tomorrow, you know, because she persisted. It's about persistence and just holding on to your faith. And so, and then when you go through that, you never know what could happen. Is that going to be a movie? movie? Yes. That, that might, might yes, sir. Abs you already know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no market. Oh, yeah, there's a screenplay. There's a screenplay. That's a screenplay on this movie. And when people want to buy it, so how do they? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for asking. That book is available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, Target. It's all over the place. Everyone picked it up. Google Books. Everyone has it. All you have to do is type in the name Omen and the Prince. Pops up, up and you choose which platform. Bye, Bye. Susan. Yes. Okay, you can also get it from my personal website, SusanWokedi.com. Susan, why did you give me my Ngozi outfit? Because it's so much shorter. SusanNgoziWokedi.com. Do you see how much? Plus, I'm known. I'm known as Susan Wokedi more so than Ngozi. It was just a dedication for to be part of this. For my author, as an author, I'm Ngozi in the middle. And films, I've already been established. I'm an award-winning filmmaker, so I've won some awards for my work. Love it. Yes, yeah, so I've been established as Susan Mukherjee already. Susan Mukherjee, that's the love man. Because it's beautiful, yes. Yeah, so that's the love. Oh, and the prince is story about love, inner beauty, and going after it. That's so your passion, I would say. So, and if you said it's illustrated by Paula and that can too. Yes. Okay. So, so you so said, said um. um you're an author, a filmmaker, educator. educator, educator, and then you have your family. Yes. How you put everything together. And then, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, what does it mean for you? Oh, uh, I'm so grateful. You know, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, being grateful is not about how much hmm. you have in the bank. In the bank, you have hmm. in the bank. It's when I wake up in the morning and I take a deep breath and say, "Thank you, Father God." It's when I walk out of my room, I see my husband, he smiles, my children smile. It's when I pick up this book and I know how much effort I put in it, but I never gave up like Alma and I mm. wrote it and I saw it till it was published. And so I'm just, I'm just, just it's just the blessing, the abundance of blessing mm -hmm. that God gives us each day. So I'm just grateful that I have the ability to be someone who can tell stories that can impact other people's lives. What, what is that? It's typical, typical Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving like, like in your, your house. Oh, <laughs> I cook and we eat. <laughs> it's just like everyone like else. Like, I cook and we eat. <laughs> I start, I put, when, by the time everybody wakes up, the house is already full of smell of food. Yes, man, don't you know? <laughs> then we all fall asleep somewhere. <laughs> Just, uh, like everybody else's yeah. household, you know? Yeah. Uh, we're coming to yours. Come on. Yeah. yeah. After we're done in the I mean, studio. We're just here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank, Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Please let, let people, people know um, um, if, if there's, there's a page, page or if there's a website, website you said, I mean, Susan Wokedi. Susan Wokedi that. Wokedi and his silence are also that out for Susan, Susan typical S U S A N Wokedis N W O K E D I. Yes. One, One word, Susan Wokedi dot com. Yes. So you can definitely visit her website, website. Right. And, and you can get, get a copy at Walmart, Walmart at, on, on Amazon, Amazon, Amazon on Target, Target Google, Google, everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. So, so it's Oma O M A N the Prince. Right. And yeah. uh, for more, I am an African, African prince. prince. Yes, you are. Oh, right. Did you like? Did you get a chance to see what the the prince looks like inside? And you would love the prince. It, there's the the Look prince. Yeah, that. yeah. So the, and another thing so is the pictures. That's the whole idea. Yes, it's yeah. it's about it's showcasing beautiful. the African culture and it's our beautiful. clothes. So we did that on purpose. Thank, Thank you so yes. much for blessing this generation with. with um, um, such, such a gift, gift you know, you. With, um, that, that you're encouraging, encouraging people, people 
you, you know, to love themselves, themselves. Thank you, um, sir. to not, not give up on themselves, themselves you know, and, and to understand their inner, inner beauty yes, and to follow their passion as well. Yes, thank, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Thank you so much for what you do too. Well, well, thank thank you. you guys do a lot for our community and I really want, I'm not saying that because I'm on your show. I'm saying it because okay. it's, <laughs> I say because it's the truth. I mean, I've known this network for a long time. I thank, thank you for the resilience, sticking with it, and not because we need you. Thank you, Houston. We need you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yes. See, I'm, I'm ready. ready. Right. <laughs> God, God thank you. Thank you. You know, it's thank good anyway. So, so guys, you, you heard it from her. her. Please, 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 please. You, you get, get your, your children, children to read this book. book. You, you can, can get, get one, one and read it for yourself or make it a gift to somebody else. Be a blessing unto many as, you know, you would want to be blessed as well. That's right. That's how I'm telling you. I love how you say that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So guys, don't touch the dial, please. We will be right back.